What is up guys? Pro Player Apathy back in the building bringing you guys another live comp talking about a certain topic that I talked about in my last video. You can you can never win no matter what. And I thought it was a great video to post. I thought it was very uh, truthful and realistic. Whether some people hated, you know, that, that I was pretty like offensive in a way to fans and to the community. I thought it had to be a bit be said, you know, it's been a while that it's been like almost two years since I've been feeling like this. I just never actually ever made a video about it or ever talked about it. So I did that. I did just that. I talked about it. And for the most part, I actually got really good feedback. A lot of you guys are tweeting me that you agreed. A lot of you guys were like, yeah, this community is just messed up and all these things. But I felt like you guys uh, took it a little too personal. Like... In the 10, I, my video was about 11 minutes long. Obviously, I felt like I couldn't say anything. I felt like I couldn't go as in-depth because there's a lot to talk about it. And I didn't I didn't want to just leave it there and just end it and leave it like that because I don't want you guys to take uh, get the wrong idea. I do feel like I need to talk about it a little bit more. That's why I'm going to be doing a part two today about talking about that certain subject. So, to begin with, and this is the most important thing of this video right here or right now. A lot of you guys know... That the community follows what mainly what the pros say. Uh, if someone calls someone trash, that kid is pretty much trash unless you know proven before. If it, if some kid's a warrior, everyone agrees that he's a warrior no matter what. And the community likes to follow each other. Like we're one big this group. I mean, we're obviously one big group because that's pretty dumb for me to say. But my point is. Uh, the biggest thing is we as pro players can influence the community in a lot of ways. Uh, we can make the community believe in certain things or follow us. And that's a nice spot. What the fuck? Good thing I don't play this map much. And whatever we say tends to be true. And I think this is another huge problem. And when I made the video, you know, I didn't necessarily want to say it's all the fans' fault and it's all our and it's all your guys' fault. It's the community's fault and all that. Because it obviously aren't all your like it's not all your fault. Like it's obviously. It's partially to do with us and the players as well. Like, it's 50-50. It's or maybe like 40-60. Okay. No, we'll, we'll say 50-50. It's 50-50. It's like, it pretty much is 50-50. It goes both... It go, oh, what the fuck? I didn't even see that guy. Oh. Okay. It goes both ways. Right? It's, it's you know, it's, it's both sides. And what I mean by that... So, a good example I can give you right now is... The best example I give you guys is, let's say you guys are a fan of, let's say, Slacked, right? You watch his Slack, you know, you think he's a good player, you're trying to learn from him, you're enjoying his stream, and then out of nowhere he starts saying some shit like, dude, Havoc is the biggest online warrior ever, dude, he's only good online. And then that starts to get stuck in your head. And now you start thinking, well, Havoc is the biggest online warrior ever. And whenever the topic, you know, comes up, or whenever you have a chance, you sp you speak of what of what you heard. You don't. You, it's not your own personal opinion, but since a pro player said said it, you agree with it, and like it's kind of reasonable. You know, pro players are the skillful ones. They are the ones that play, and most of the time, what they say you, you think could be right. But that's not always true. But you guys follow them because you're fans of them, or. Or you, you know, you just, you're mainly because you're fans of the players. And I think that's a big uh, problem. Not you being fans of them, that's a great thing. But I think the biggest problem is people lo lose repetition. Reputation. I don't know I said repetition. God, I've been thinking about working out too much, huh? But reputation or people lose, like, I don't, I don't know exact word for it. I mean, reputation is the best way to say it, like, when I, when I speak about that. People lose that when pro players bash other players. And I'm going to tell you why. And it really depends on the, the, the size of the player and how big his fan base is. But let's say someone bashes me every day. Apathy is a headless player. All he does is runs around. Doesn't even use his brain. You know, he's just such a headless submachine gun and he sucks, dude. He's such an online warrior. That immediately... Not only do the like some players start thinking, yeah, you know what, this guy's right. Like, dude, Apathy's such an online warrior, dude. He's such a joke, which I don't deny that because I could be a, like a joke sometimes. I'm not saying that. Or like, dude, Apathy is a headless player. Shit, you were right, slacked. But not only does that happen, but now the fans join in. They're like, and then when my name comes up or when people hear about me, yeah, dude, Apathy sucks. Yeah, he's an online joke. Yeah, 
yeah, this, yeah, that. Yeah, he's a dumb brainless warrior. Dude, what is he doing in, like, it just, it's a bad, very, very bad habit. And I would get pissed in Advanced Warfare because one of the players was Krim, but a lot of players would bash me all the time. Yeah, Apathy's a hella sub online joke, dude. He's so dumb. Like, what the fuck does he think he's doing? He's, he's the worst player. Like, I would get bashed so much, and then I would, I would, I'd always get shit from, like, Optic fans or other fans or people that hate me, you know, be like, Yo, I, I, you suck, bro, dude. You're you're such a hella sub. This and they just follow what the pro players are saying, and it's it's just the same thing. Like when you're watching scrims, and a pro player is bitching about connection and host and calling these guys jokes and everything. And like sometimes, yes, dude, connection can be a factor. It can help. Like it's a problem. Uh, pro players just like to bitch about connection, and I think that's like the scapegoat a lot of players use and. I'm, I'm not saying I'm perfect because I've done it before and I think a lot of player like every single player has done it before Some people take it to extreme some people take it, you know, just a little bit like they're like, yeah, this guy's a joke, whatever and That's obviously a, a problem players need to stop bitching so much about connection and obviously just fucking play better suck less get better But on top of that, I mean, it's 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 turned down a little bit Especially with the CWL being the league a lot of people are being a little bit more professional and shit but players used to bash each other all the time, and it gave fans the wrong image, and it just it allowed fans. <coughs> oh, sorry. And people just thought that you know it's okay to call this this fool a brainless sub. Oh God. And this is not just me. I'm talking about Zuma. Zuma had hate like that. I'm talking about almost a lot of Call of Duty, a lot of Call of Duty players, especially brainless sub players, like people would say, or online jokes. And it's just. The way you gotta look at it in the end of the day, like a, a good example I give you guys is for a lot of the fans, pro players are the role models. For the people who watch, people support the teams and etc. We are their role models. They look up to us. They believe in what we say. They you know they listen to what we say. And if somebody's bashing another player, talking shit, well that's gonna stay in their mind and they're gonna start talking shit. And so if and if if someone like if a pro player keeps saying this kid's a joke online, he he sucks, dude. Such a joke online. All the fans or people who 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 watch that player, that kid's a joke. I'm kidding. But all the people who watch or you know support that player are gonna watch that and start believing that that kid is a fucking joke online. This kid, you know, it's it just it goes both ways, and it's not only the fans, and it's it's not like the fans have to have blame for this community and how shit. It's become and how the call to community like you can win no matter what because it's not all your it's not all the fans or the community's fault or it, it's a, a lot has to do with the players and it's it's sad but like us as pro players have so much say and so much power in this community we can make players believe in certain things I could literally start bashing my teammate every time saying sing something let's say I'll tell John dude you never fucking call out you never call out or and no matter what but like as I continue to do it, and I continue to do it and I continue to do it you guys start to actually believe in it and maybe I could just be trolling maybe I'm just saying it to like test you guys but you guys are gonna start believing it and let's say a topic comes up right with your friends or in the in the in the reddit the subreddit or on Twitter you're like so the topic comes up dude why does envy suck or what can envy do to get better the first thing that's gonna come into your mind or the first thing you're gonna respond with is John needs to start start calling out more. John needs to start calling out more, dude. He doesn't call out. And that could be completely false. Like, that could be literally something, a troll, like I said, just to prove a point. But you guys just go with it. And you guys listen. It's like... It, it just, that's like the best example I can give you guys. But this, this spreads out to a million things. Right? Like, let's say you're watching a live stream. We're watching, uh... Watching us... No, no, no. You're watching face scrim optic, right? And you know, optic starts bashing phase, dude. Tommy's such a headless sub, dude. Like this guy does not does not know what he's doing. He's just running around shooting. Immediately, first, that's the first thing that goes in your head when you think about phase or you think about Zuma. He's a headless sub. He sucks. And the thing is, optic has a huge fan base, so a lot of people follow them. A lot of people believe in what they say and they trust them because they're fucking optic. And I mean, it's understandable, you know, Optic, biggest fan base, uh, very talented and respected squad, obviously have, have had and having a lot of success. So 
the people that look up to these players, you know, you, like you're ba like the pro players are basically role models, and it just it goes in your mind. Now every time you think of Tommy or Zuma, every time you think of somebody bringing up the subject or like what do you guys relate? Uh, let's say. I'd say in the subreddit, what do you guys rate FaZe or what do you guys rate Zuma? Like, you think he's a good player? And then somebody might come out and be like, you know, yeah, I think he, he's a pretty good player. Um, I, think he's pre I think he's pretty dominant. He needs a little bit of work. And then out of nowhere, someone will respond, dude, he's a headless sub. He does not know what he's doing. And that's all from one comment a pro player said. You cannot even watch Zuma. You could not watch one gameplay of him. But you truly believe that all because of a pro players. And that's what that's where I come in and say... It's not all the fans, it's not all the community's fault, because that will be, that's false. That will, I would just be lying to you guys. It's 50-50. You know, first of all, all the fugues the community spit about, you know, people need to chill with following, I don't know, it's, it's hard, man. And nowadays, people can't have their own opinion, they just like to be followers. Damn it, I wish I had a camel that fucking killed that guy. You know, they're followers, no one's really... I mean, there's some people obviously with their own opinion, and people don't believe what they believe in. But a lot of a lot of people, the majority, especially people in the COD scene, are followers, and they like to follow. Oh, you're you're nice, bro. You're nice, Skull Sword. You're the fucking best, baby. Fucking dumb man. I'm kidding, but that's the way community is, man. And I don't want. I didn't want you guys to take it too offensive when I said in my second video that it's all the fans' fault and it's the community's fault. Because even though that is partially my whole point of the video, what I was trying to explain. I want to explain this video that it's also the pro player's fault and we as role models and for the people who follow us we need to you know we need to be good we, we need to try our best to to not you know we obviously have a huge following we obviously have a lot of viewers watching us we don't want to fucking destroy someone's reputation or really or make someone look like shit or make them look like he suck and then he gets bashed all the time just because you can't control your anger because you're too ignorant to to accept the fact that maybe he's good or he's not a joke but either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's little rant video. The gameplay was pretty trash, not going to lie. So I hope you guys enjoyed the topic. This is your boy Apathy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Have a good night. Peace.